This next story may have you rethinking how much you tip. One family says they were locked inside a restaurant because their gratuity wasn't enough. Local 2's Jennifer Bauer is in West Houston tonight with that story. And Jen, this is going to get a lot of people talking. Absolutely, Dominique. You know, they were at this restaurant here behind me. The family says the service was slow. They didn't get everything they paid for. Their drinks never got refilled. And they say the staff was a bit rude. That's why when the bill came, they had a problem. We paid our bill for what we ate. But Jasmine Marks admits there was 17% of the bill she didn't want to pay. She was eating at La Fisherman Restaurant on Highway 6 in West Houston when suddenly there was a customer tip controversy. Mark says the service was less than stellar. And when the bill came, there was a 17% gratuity automatically added to the tab. That's because they had more than five people in their party. It's a policy that's clearly stated at the bottom of their menu. A policy that Marks wasn't so happy about. So she spoke to a manager. We asked her, could the gratuity be removed? Could we have our own, um, give our own tip? And she said that it was a part of the policy, their, their policy, and that there was nothing that she could do about it. Mark says that's when things got ugly. She and her friends were told they couldn't leave until it was paid. They say they were locked inside and the police were called. I asked the police officer twice, maybe three times, is it against the law if we don't pay the gratuity? And he, didn't, he never gave me a straight answer. We went to La Fisherman. You guys won't budge. Instead, you'll call the police? Um, I don't know about that. I don't call the police, but usually we don't have a problem with people paying it or not. Dan Parsons with Houston's Better Business Bureau has advice for consumers before you sit down at a restaurant. Consumers need to understand the policy going in. And I mean from every sign walking in the door. What credit cards do you accept, not accept? What are your hours? 17% for the six of you. If you don't like it, go. And Dan Parsons says policy is policy. Now, in the end, the 17% gratuity was paid in full. The family says they didn't want to, they wanted to avoid any more problems. We're live in West Houston tonight. Jennifer Bauer, KPRC, Local 2. Now, Dan Parsons with the BBB says it has received an official complaint about La Fisherman and is looking into it. The BBB's concern with this case is the service complaint and the fact that police were called.